I'm Allison Broom. And I'm Delia Folk. And we're the mother-daughter duo behind the style that binds us. We're very excited because it's Bridal Fashion Week for Spring 2020. So come along with us as we see what's going to be the latest in bridal fashions for Spring 2020. So since we're in the car en route to our next meeting, we wanted to talk to you about some of the observations that we've had during Bridal Fashion Week. So one of them is that even though there are so many white dresses and all I'm thinking since I'm not getting married anytime soon is that I want to wear these to all of these galas, black tie events, maybe in another color, or maybe white, especially some of them are classic beautiful wedding gowns and a lot of them are sheer and sexy and lots of sequins that would be perfect for these galas. Right, right, yeah. More so than maybe for a wedding. Maybe. Right? <laughs> Depending on the person. Oh, absolutely, yeah. That's about for you, yeah. Oh yeah, and then another thing is that, so Bridal Fashion Week, it's like how the Yves Saint Laurent shows used to be. So it's- Dior and Dior. It's very a small intimate setting. The designer is usually there talking you through the collection and it's such a small group. You feel like you know everyone in the room by this point because you see them at all the shows and they really each model comes out and they walk you through and, and they tell the inspiration and about the fabrics and all of that. Mm -hmm. oh.
Fashion Week 2020 for spring is coming to an end. And so we wanted to talk you through some of the trends that we saw. Let's see, some of the trends. We saw a lot of trends across different designers. We saw Hollywood glamour, old world, Hollywood gorgeous glamour. We saw very simple, very clean, elegant sheath dressing maybe with a big bow in the back with a lovely low back. We saw detachable puffy sleeves that were also attached at the back to like a long tool train that you could wear during the wedding and then take that part off and then you're in a, a lighter weight um, but still very beautiful dress. We saw dresses with feathers, we saw dresses with beads, we saw semi sheer dresses with um, appliques or lace. We saw lots of things like a whole tool skirt that you would take a jumpsuit or um, a more fitted dress and then you would tie this beautiful tool ball gown uh, sort of with a train in the back on it and take it off. We saw incredible veils. I remember Name Khan was talking to us about how people had asked so many people had asked for matching veils to go with their wedding dresses. So the veils that we saw that he has made were breathtaking. They were, you just could see them in some beautiful cathedral in, um, in Europe. So I think the veils were something that I wasn't really thinking I was going to fall in love with like I did. I really fell in love with that. Um, what what were some things that you liked? Did you have anything that I haven't mentioned? Yes, there were suits, lots of wedding suits, and also we found it really interesting that it was all about detachable, interchangeable outfits. So you can make more than one dress, you can have multiple looks, or you can have the after party reception dress and totally change and have multiple looks for the wedding, which would be really fun. Yeah, that was really cute. One of them was this beautiful bodice that had sort of a train of its own, and then it came for the, you could wear it with a long fitted skirt, or you could wear it with a, and then change to a mini skirt after, or change to a little pant after. Um, there were just so many different ways you could do the same look. But now another big thing is these dresses that they change into for the reception. Several people are doing this. Markarian did a beautiful one. And um, oh, there was such a fabulous one at Oscar de la Renta. They are, you wear the long gown, the traditional sort of gown to your wedding. And then at the reception, you put on this really fun, like the name kind of feather one that um, is just all about having fun. You're, you're married now and this is your party. And so, um, so that's really a fun trend and I don't think that's going anywhere anytime soon. And lots of corset bodices. So it almost looked unfinished because mm -hmm. you would think that would be the underneath portion, but we saw that at pretty much every mm -hmm. single brand. Most definitely. So there's really, really, really a dress for everybody type. I think you're better without me. No for a fact that you Why is the style that binds us participating in Bridal Fashion Week? Well, what we offer are two things. Primarily, one is personal styling, one on one, and then the other is bringing information to our audience. So for personal styling, obviously it's important. We have a lot of brides, mother of the bride, mother of the groom, bridal party, wedding guest, all of that. So it's important for us to see what is coming next in that world and all the hair pieces, the veils, the dresses, all of it is important for us to be in the know on. And then for people who are not our personal clients, but may be getting married soon or in the next year or have someone close to them that is, this is a good thing. You can come and watch our videos, follow along with us and get all the information that you would need to know. And you can always direct message us or anything if you have more questions or want us to cover something specifically that we haven't covered yet. 
month out, the CFDA, which is the Council of Fashion Designers of America, brings up the bridal fashion calendar. Now, it's going to change some going up until the date that bridal week begins, so you have to keep checking back. But we look and see what shows, what presentations, who's having market appointments. It's all on the calendar. And then we go to a Google Sheet stock that we set up. And it has every designer, if they're having a presentation or a show, market appointments, etc. And then we reach out to each one, requesting an invitation. We write down the date that we request it. We write down the address of the person that we got in touch with. It might be a PR outside PR team or an inside PR team, or it might be a, a designer themselves. So we reach out to that person. Then we come back and we check off and note the date that they responded and whether they responded yes or no. It's all color coded with notes to reach back out, etc. For example, we just got um, an appointment that is already set in stone. And then sometimes the day of the show, we might get an invite last minute and we have to sort of rearrange the schedule. But our goal is to not overlap things and make sure that we're able to see everything. So the Google Sheets help us keep organized and it's very interactive. We use it going forward right, right through till the end of bridal fashion week. Thank you so much for joining us today and following along as we vlogged our way through New York Bridal Fashion Week for Spring 2020. We hope you enjoy the video and if there's anything that we didn't cover that you have questions about or you have suggestions for other videos that are related to bridal that you would love for us to talk more in depth about, please, please leave us a comment. We really, really love hearing from our community. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel. And we can't wait to join you again next week. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. I regret what I said.